remnants of a Cornell chemistry major. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, amory, cerusium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, and lanthanum, and osmium, and acetine, and radium, and gold, rock, actinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, and iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bisochromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. There's homium and helium and hafnium and erbium and phosphorus and francine and fluorine and terbium and manganese and mercury and molybdenum and magnesium and dysprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium and lead, chrysodymium and platinum and plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium and terpenoid, magnesium, titanium, tellurium and cadmium and calcium and chromium and curium. There's sulfur, californium, and fermium, and berkelium, and also in nobelium, einsteinium, nobelium, and argon, kryptonium, radon, xenon, second rhodium, and fluorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, and sodium. These are the only ones of which the news has come to Harvard, and there may be many others, but they haven't been discovered.